Mmm. Mmm, man. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Holy Hey everyone! As you guys all know, 2020 has been a really rough year for a lot of us. There's a worldwide pandemic that's been forcing us to stay home. With all of these things going on in the world, sometimes it's important to just go back to what makes us feel comfortable again. Thankfully, we have food to answer that. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to make hotdog, which is a sweet Korean pancake that's filled with a sugary syrup in the inside. So, if if you're ready to cook, then let's begin. Let's begin. For this recipe, we're going to be using Peksal Sweet Korean Pancake Mix. This is a really popular hot dog mix for making hot dog in Korea and it's available pretty much everywhere in America and you can also find it on Amazon. Inside, we have the pancake mix which is the flour for making the hot dog. And on the back side, we have this dry yeast that's taped to the flour mix so we're going to knead this in order to make the hot dog. We have this mix of sugar and cinnamon and I think some sesame seeds. So this is the jam mix. This is an actual jam. It's actually just sugar. Later when you cook it in the hot oil, like the sugar is going to melt, melt. right? And then that's where you get the syrup from. And then we're going to use this big metal bowl to just make the dough and everything. You can just use a regular ceramic bowl like this, but because we're going to be making about four pancakes, we think this size will suffice. First up, you want to take the mix Cut it open like this. You want to add about one and one quarter of mix into the pot. You want to take about a third cup of warm water and just start pouring inside of this mix right here. We're going to take our instant dry yeast and we're going to put about one teaspoon inside of this mix. So like that, that's good. A pro tip, you want to take some olive oil and apply it to your hand so that your hand doesn't get filled with flour on your fingertips and everything. So do you like hotdog? I love hot dog. Really? Yeah. Actually, nowadays, fall and winter, this weather is getting cold. And I think this weather is perfect for hot dog. Oh, perfect. Hot dog is basically foreign rice cake. This came from China, I guess. Hot dog is kind of Korean traditional food. Very like, historic food. I heard the basic form of hot dog is from China. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also really good food to eat when you're stressed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because it's sweet. So it looks like Soyoung is a little bit stuck with the <laughs> dough, so we're gonna help her out. If you're in this sticky situation, what you can do is you can add a little bit more of the pancake mix. If you run out of pancake mix, you can also use whole wheat flours like this or any type of flour that you have. This contains gluten. And if you are sensitive to gluten, then you can also use uh, home recipes to make this hot dog mix. So you can use flour, sugar, salt, and oil, and a little bit of milk if you are sensitive to gluten. You want to take your jam mix and you want to just rip it. You want to just open it and put some here, like this. What you want to do is take about this much of hot dog and spread it. Next, you want to take a spoon and add a bit of sugar inside of this dough right here. And depending on how much sugar you like inside of your pancake, 
you can always adjust and make sure all the gaps are closed. Once you have it like this, you want to kind of just squish it a little bit, make sure you get all of the air pockets out. Otherwise, when you cook, the sugar might explode. So just kind of give this a good squeeze and then you should have something like this. Mm, perfect. And once you're done, you can just put it on the cutting board and let it rest and just keep repeating the steps. In a non-stick oil pan, you want to add some olive oil and turn the heat to about a medium high. Before you put in your hot dog, you want to make sure that the place where you closed the hole is the one where you put down first. We have this special hot dog press that you can use to press the hot dog into a disc shape. You can also use a rubber spatula to press the hot dog. When you want to use a hot dog press, you want to first flip the hot dog over and then press it like this. And this is how you're going to achieve that classic disc shaped hot dog. Ooh, looks Ooh. nice. Soyoung, mm -hmm. using the hot dog press versus a rubber spatula, what do you think is the difference? I think making shape is easier uh -huh. with this. Uh -huh. With spatula, you have to you can press many it, times. Mm. But with this, I can just press once, once mm -hmm. uh, and then make shape. Ah, so it's more convenient. Yeah. Nice. So once you're done with this, you can just grab a spatula and just put it on a plate like this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make the other ones. We have our delicious hot dog. You can rip it with your hand but this is actually really hot. There's like a gooey sugar liquid inside. So if you rip it off, then you might end up accidentally burning your finger. So what you can do instead is just take a scissor and just cut it in half like this. Korean syrupy pancake right here. This is it right here. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna be using this pot holders and we're gonna be using these to eat our hot dog, so. Like this? Uh -huh. Perfect. Ooh, look at that. Bon appetit. Mmm. <laughs> It's good? Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Let's take a bite of this. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow. I can eat like a hundred of these and I won't get sick of it. So we have the melted brown sugar just oozing out of the pancake and then we have the peanuts right here. You have like this explosion of cinnamon in your mouth. For our last remaining hot dog, we're gonna put some vanilla ice cream on top of it. Oh ho ho ho. Take a scissor and cut this hot dog like this. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Let's take a little bit of ice cream, put it on top. Look what we have here, some hot dog with some vanilla ice cream on top. So we got the creamy goodness of the vanilla ice cream mixed with the sugary, cinnamon-rich syrup of the hot dog. So let's try it. Oh my god! Mmm! 
that tasted so much better than I expected. Mmm, man. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> It's just kind of like waffle pan. It's like a waffle ice cream, mm, but like Korean style. Cream. Yeah, like right. waffle ice cream, but with a Korean twist to it. I think like I should be selling this back in America. Come on, boy. I'm chewing so I can speak. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's how you make Korean traditional hot dog. And if you want to go a little bit crazy, I definitely recommend adding some vanilla ice cream on top. You can also add in chocolate chip. Or pumpkin seed, Some yeah. Sunflower seed. Yeah, definitely. So go crazy with making hot dog. This is the ultimate Korean comfort food. If you guys like this video, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Korean food videos. I'll see you guys later then. Bye. Bye.